Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Always fascinating talking with this woman, and I'm going to illustrate that in just a moment even further. She is a medical intuitive. Yes, there's a place for doctors, medical professionals, but she has this amazing ability, gift, whatever you want to call it, to figure out what's going on with us medically using intuition. I know it sounds crazy. I did too, until I had a session. And she is back with us. So great to have you here, Gloria Warren. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to be back. So before we dig into what we're going to talk about today, and that is how to see energy, how to feel energy. Energy is everything, by the way. I want to go back to our session last week. So you did an analysis on me using your intuition to read me medically. Uh, I'm going to just paraphrase a few of the things you brought up. You said heart was okay, and I had just gone for a full workup, so you were right about that. You also said that there was some kind of respiratory thing going on. And you hadn't really identified it. You're like, I don't know what it is here. It could be allergies. I'm not really sure, but it's a little something I'm picking up on. The next day, <laughs> I had like just, oh. you know, cloggage in the throat. Like, I don't know if it was allergies kicking up or whatever it was. But right away, I woke up and I'm like, she was right. And there was no signs whatsoever of that. It was just a minor thing passing a day or whatever. But it was a little like you know, breathing wise was a little bit different. And I, th I think maybe it was an allergy thing or whatever, seasonal, whatever. Um, there's no way you would have known that. You have no way you could have picked up on that. And it was literally the next day <laughs> after you did the, uh, the reading. Uh, amazing. It really is amazing. And some of the other things that go back to the other podcast that you pulled out there uh, that nobody was going to know, you don't have access to medical records. All you did was just feel my energy, right? Right. And a matter of fact, I could not even find you on the internet. Remember just before we went on, I said, you know, I can't find you anywhere. Give me some tips because <laughs> I thought, well, if I could do more of just the, you know, shoulder area on up, uh, it would give you more information. You were but, looking for pictures uh, and yeah. And, and I'm yeah. everywhere. If you just type in my name, radio or podcast, yes. then, then it found then, that out. <laughs> yeah. And then you found, I guess, a full body shot and that, because you wanted to read that as well, right? right? While you were on, I think I found that, but yeah. I couldn't really um, read much into it. Uh, nothing recent that I would need to do that. So hmm. that's, that's fine. Interesting how looking at a photograph can give you information and speaking with people that do what you do, harness energy, understand it, intuitives, that everything has an energy imprint, even a photograph that we see, there's energy in it. I call it like an energy DNA that's been placed in there. Uh, and there are people that are able to read that energy like you. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Yep. And today is going to be an amazing um, show for, for our viewers here. <laughs> so that's that was my game changer about three years ago, when I truly, truly figured out that we're all energy, anything we do is an energy exchange, piece of paper is energy, different energy than we are, chair you're sitting on is energy. We send energy all the time. Like even when you say to somebody, hey, I'm praying for you, or positive vibes for the outcome of that surgery, you're sending energy. Right. Hard to explain it to people because we can't see it. <laughs> we can't feel it. Yeah. I'm understanding that we're going to change that today and you're going to show us how to do that. Absolutely. Hmm. So one of the first steps in uh, Life Connect retreats is I show people and they experience while they're watching and they're doing it with me. I show them how to actually see energy with their own naked eye and then with their eyes. And then I show them how to feel energy with their hands. And then we talk a little bit about why we need to be able to see energy. You can see energy being emitted from everything. So why we need to see that and why we need to feel it and how it can help us in our lives. So it's all, everybody mm -hmm. has these gifts. It's just having them use that part of their brain that maybe they're just not used to using. 
I'm I'm going to be honest. I, you're amazing. I've seen it, but I'm kind of skeptical. How am I going to see energy? How are we going to do this? I'm going to talk you through it. Now, we are being that we are doing this through Zoom. Um, it may not be as easy for, for you, but I'm going to try. We're going to see where it ends up. And if any of the viewers are out there, if you can get a partner and sit down or even stand up in front of each other, like two feet away, and you try to do what I talk you to doing, and you're going to be thinking a little bit different when you do it as well. I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Here we go. So the therms in your body release energy. And it creates an aura that surrounds our, encapsulates our whole surface of our body. These therms, when um, the atoms and therms are released from your body, the UV light excites them. And they actually, uh, the photons light. It's like, hey, it's a homeostasis with the therm in your body. It releases and it's like, hey, it's getting cooler out here. or It's a different temperature. I need to light up. I need to get excited and get back to norm. So it lights up and you'll see usually over the um, left side or right side of the shoulder, most of the time left side, especially if they're a man because their heart is on that side, you'll see it more easily. So if you could look, take your eyes and take your partner, have them standing in front of you and you have them just stand there and you would look through just next to the surface, the nape of the neck, where it meets the shoulders. You just kind of look through it and further back. And what you're gonna do is focus your eyes in and out ever so slightly until you see a darkened area touching my skin. And then as you see that, you'll start to notice, wait, if that's a darkened area, then this is a lighter area as you come away from the skin a little. That's actually the aura. And Sometimes you can take about five minutes practicing and then it's like, it never, it never fails. There are, everyone's always like, oh my God, I can see it. <laughs> Some people right off the bat, oh my gosh, I can see it. And I see the colors, which is the next step they learn how to see the different colors, which means different things inside the human body. So I don't know if you can do this on, you know, with the video, you may need to have somebody there in person. I know if I move my hair out of the way. Yeah, sometimes. you know what? Wouldn't work video. Um, in in your situation, you have a background. So yes. it's not a clean line. And I believe even if you didn't have a background uh, placed on your video, that it would be hard to really truly see it through a Zoom. Can we right. Can we test this self? And I'm going to be trying this later, by the way, when I see people mm -hmm. in oh, person. Oh, please do. Please and, do. And, and it's going to be awkward. You're out there like, tonight getting getting something to eat. Just say, hey, wait a minute. Stay there. Don't move. That's what <laughs> I'm doing. Try this. I, that's what I'm going to do. I, it, the, the trick is doing it so it's not so obvious that you're staring at somebody. Right. But is it is it a process where when you're looking at them, it's almost like you're looking through them because you exactly. don't want to focus on anything, but you're kind of looking in that direction to see the right. dark definitive line so that that is your baseline if you will for yes. the seeing the energy above it the excited photons correct which is mm. your aura you know i am having a difficult time seeing it with you on zoom so i could understand it being difficult for anyone for sure for sure i i um, wish i could say differently but it, it is what problem. it is it, yeah. and and but but now we have our our, our marching order know what to do can right. you do this on yourself? Can you look in the mirror? Yes, you it? can. Once you train your eyes and you train your brain, you'll be able to look in a mirror and see your own aura. You'll be able to spot things. And it's, it's like, wait a minute. I have a greenish aura. It's funny because I feel so sick to my stomach today. And yet I have this like pukey green aura. <laughs> it just makes perfect sense. You know, <laughs> why does it have to be here? Well, you emit more heat from this okay. part of your neck, the nape of your neck. So gotcha. it's just your carotid arteries are there and it just zooms heat. So it's it's you're looking for that heat therm or atom that is trying to get excited that transfers into a photon. That's what I figured. Okay. Um, would you be able to even just go like this to your arm? Yes. I see auras on everything. If I hold my arm in front of me, I can see my aura on that. 
with navy blue behind you, it's the best color behind your arm. So you can see it more easily. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if you move it around, you can pick up even wood because wood is a live cellular structure. You can actually see an emission of of life coming from it. So when you're staring at it, get just final thought on this and then we, we'll move in a different direction. But how do you look? How, give me that again. Like you're staring. I, give us that. Again. I actually like. I actually look through it and it's almost like my brain actually sets out here and then I can like see right through it and I can see the aura. It just comes on fire to me all around. It's fascinating. So it but sounds like you're, you're looking at it, but you're not looking at it because if you stare at the, at the arm, nape of the neck, whatever it might be, you're going to get fixated on, you know, Oh, well, if, you know, if there's a freckle there, there's no, it's, right. you it's, have to look through it. Right. Past it. You're looking, yeah. but not looking. Right. And way. then when you train yourself, you may not need to do that because I can look at people and just see it right away. Right. And I, right. you know, so it's just training that part of your brain and your eyes to recognize it. Well, it's the same thing, even with meditation. You know, I've talked to uh, monks before and, and I said, how long does it take to, for you to get into a meditate before I could even finish the sentence three seconds? I'm like, come on, really? Yes. S sometimes four but no more than four. Like, <laughs> no. really? Like they're, or so, yeah. Sometimes they'll tell you, I'm always in a meditative state. I get that all the time, especially, especially with the O2 monks. They, wow. I'm always in a meditative state. It's wow. like, okay. So, but yes, you do not need to, after you've done it enough times, you do not need to go into a trance or anything else. It's just sure. autumn. So what about feeling? This is seeing energy. What about feeling energy? Well, feeling energy, we could take it. Um, Qigong is a great thing, a great course to take if you get a chance to take it because it teaches you more about feeling energy and the energy pushing it through your body, which you feel it even. It's a self-help type scenario that you can use on others. So you start with your hands right across just below your belly button. You take your hands. Can you see my, let me, let me get my own view up here. I want to make sure you can see some of it. You make sure that um, your hands are going to be like this, a very relaxed state. And you're going to make sure it's relaxed. And you're just going to put them down at your belly. And you you open them up and you see, feel the contraction back. You open them up, feel Now I'm trying to feel it through my fingertips as well as through the palms of my hands. So when you pull it back, you'll feel a pull. And it's like a rubber band almost. You play with that a while and then, you know, eventually you'll feel it stronger and stronger. Within a week, you're going to feel a really strong pull. And that's the energy you push through people's arms and things. If I want to push it through to, sorry, it's hard to do this, push it through to heal. So let's say somebody's got a very bad wrist. I can push the energy through the wrist or I could do a laying of the hands or I could do Reiki with the zigzag and the back and forth. Once you can feel it, though, the whole world in the sense of energy just opens up to you. Anyone who is considering being any holist practitioner should actually learn how to do this. Uh, it is life-changing. Mm. That being said, is it possible to use, it almost sounds like we're, we're talking about Reiki principles in a way here. In, in many, many modalities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what if you, let's say you have a sore throat, is it reasonable to think that, all right, you know what, the power of energy, I'm going to take my hand above my throat and send out positive energy there. I want you to feel better. You know, I don't know what's going on there, but, you know, if there's a disturbance or whatever, I'm just, I'm being hypothetical, but does that make no, sense? No, you're right. You're right. You were doing it last week when you, when I told you about your right shoulder, what were you doing? Oh yeah, you were doing this. Your intuitive self knows that by putting, placing your hand there, you're actually helping it to heal, whether you move it or not. Of course, you're going to get more motion with that energy if you move it. But you were doing it intuitively to yourself when you were on air. Wow. Yeah. And that was you. You were talking about this side that there was a some kind of pressure or whatever. And I thank you for bringing that up. I forgot uh, that. I had, and I, I always do have a, like a knot or something there and I'll go to massage therapists and there it is. I still feel it. It's not on the other side. It's just, 
I guess it's it needs to get worked out by the right person. It's I don't there know. though. It's right, there. Right. Oh yeah. And you by the way, you picked up on that. You didn't see. You have no, you know, 50-50 chance. Actually, more than a 50-50 chance because it might not be there at all. <laughs> so right. and, and you and you nailed the side where it was. I did have one person one time tell me, oh no, that that's that's not right. That's not correct. You're wrong. You're wrong. And I said, no, it's there. You need to tell your doctor. No, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. And she was just so cool. It's like, okay. I'm like thinking maybe I shouldn't have said anything, but I had to. It was my duty to tell her when she asked. So um, anyways, though, I gather a year later, she had major problems with what I actually saw starting inside of her. So even though I may have some reluctancy, of saying what's wrong with a person. Like, it's hard to tell somebody, oh, you have cancer. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's scary sometimes on this end of that view. Sure. And um, I just realized though, when, I, when I'm guided to say something, it always is the truth. And that's out of experience, I've learned to do that. So I don't hold back. So even if they don't know about it yet, it's there. It's like, it's like the woman who called me. She said a few years ago, you did a reading. I said something was wrong with my valve. I wasn't sure. And it just turns out my EKG and cardiologist, they did an echo and they found that I had mitral valve prolapse. So I most likely have had it for years, but the doctors wow. didn't catch it before. You know, and, and that's why I say when I do a reading, please take it to your doctor. If he doesn't believe it, he doesn't believe it. If you just say, well, you know, this is what she did. This is what she found. This is what she suggests. What do you think? You know, what is your opinion? You know, I appreciate that because I've had doctors calling me. How did you know her blood test was X, Y, Z? And I said, well, I, I just, I just knew, you know, mm. <laughs> and now they want to know, but it's, it's, they're not in that same viewpoint as I am. So it's difficult sometimes for them. And then I've had other doctors that have been wonderful. Oh my goodness. I have other patients I'd like to talk to you about, you know, so you do what you can wow. do, but yeah. And and you have a medical background too. Yes, I do. And I'm also a, a certified medical um, consultant as well. So, I mean, I have a lot of med medical laboratory from the laboratories to surgical assistant to, um, research in pharmaceutical R&D to, I mean, even regulatory with research, a lot to do with the uh, FDA and things like that. I mean, I have a very heavy medical background of many sorts. So I combine uh, that. So it makes yeah. it easier. Doctor, <laughs> Dr. Gloria Warren isn't a kook. She just happens to be intuitive <laughs> and, and, and yeah. find these things. So based on what we're talking about, can you also let's say I'm I'm just going to throw things at you. Let's say somebody has um, acne, skin issues, whatever it is. Would it be reasonable to think you know that they could go like this and say, "I'm you know, I'm asking for the energy to heal," that kind of thing? It always helps. Um, sometimes it depends on the person and the level of energy. That's why I said it's good to get that energy going so you can start feeling it and using it but their level of energy may not be what it is for another person to use their energy, but any energy helps. So you may need other things, you know, maybe it's fungal, maybe it's bacterial, maybe it's hormonal. You know, that's the first thing to do is find out the source, use the energy in the meantime until that's all figured out. And then, you know, follow your doctor's suggestions, but you can always supplement with some of the things that I'm telling you as well. Gotcha. Um, any other tips on seeing energy, feeling energy? <laughs> There's a lot of really good things out there for women and men. Um, if they really want to see energy, you can, you'll know people's energy before you even say hello. And um, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, there's things you can do that uh, you would never, fun things you can do with energy <laughs> that you would never expect. So. Let's we have a couple of minutes left. If you are, let's say you're walking into uh, a party, a gathering, whatever it is. Um, I always like to read the room. Like, mm -hmm. I, like I'll go to the gym and I'm just like, nah, da, 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 da. I got my headphones on. I'm walking through the gym and I'm like, me, 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 looking right. at people, trying to pick up, you know, trying to receive, you know, what's yeah. going on there. Um, you're using your energy to pick up their energy. So, how can you, you know, how do you fine tune that? Um, first of all, 
learning how to see energy with your own eyes, plus knowing the psychology behind human nature is always a good thing. And then I can see dark energy. Like I'll just give you an answer. One thing, this is hereditary in my, my view for me. And um, my dad, somebody walked into our mall once and He's like, he runs to the door and says, get out of here right now. And he says, I don't ever want to see you in this door. And I was like, whoa, you're chasing away the customers. What are you doing? And he says, I don't care. I saw evil in him. And he always could see evil better than me. I mean, he was amazing. It turns out the brother came in a few days later and said, you know, he just got out of prison. He killed a guy and he raped this other one and this and that. And he went on. She went, he went on and on. And he, he goes, see? And I said, I will never doubt you again. <laughs> you know? And and I didn't from that moment on. It was, um, that was just the way it is. If he said that somebody's energy was bad, somebody's energy is bad. And then I helped, I started to help myself with zoning in and figuring that out for myself because I knew he wasn't going to be here forever. And um, wow. yeah. Mm, 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 mm. That's a good. Uh, well, lie. <laughs> you see a lot. That's a good trait to have there, picking up on the negative energy. Huh. Mm. I save your life. <laughs> there's there's a piece of me that says that I I can pick up on that to some degree. Sure. I'm like sure I, you yeah, more I, than you think. <laughs> pro probably. And it's and I think it also comes down to trusting your intuition, going with your gut. You know, if something is saying beep, 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 bad person might not be the right person, be careful over there. Right. You're probably right. If you're feeling it. Exactly. Oh. Mm. Heed your feelings, heed your gut, walk yeah. away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And 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 I think it goes back to primal instincts. That's that's how we've as a species continue to to grow, populate, because if we didn't have these things built into us, you know, the lion oh, would come and get you, you know, back in the day, right? I hope you hear from some of your listeners. Um after this show and saying, even, even if they answer tonight or tomorrow, Oh my gosh, I can see the energy now. You know, I mean, that would be so great. Oh, it I'm going really out would. later. I am so going to be doing this. I, you know, it, 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 I think it's, it's so cool. You know, looking here, you can do that in an inconspicuous way. See what you're picking up on. Um, very cool stuff. Gloria, how do we find you? If somebody even wants to just even start a conversation about all of this, how do we connect? medicalintuitivegloria.com. Simple, right? Simple. <laughs> I hope so. Simple. And then, yeah, 715-892-6304. Once again, 715-892-6304. If you're looking for some answers, if you want just a medical evaluation, or if you're not getting answers from a doctor, maybe Gloria has them through intuition and energy. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. We'll talk soon. We'll be right back. Okay. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.